Whoever sows to please the Spirit by the Spirit will reap eternal life. Feed your spirit today by this life transforming message. In the Bible, were people who paid the price to receive strategy. Joshua circumcised himself and all the men that came out of Egypt, of uh, uh, the Israelites came out of Egypt, and they waited for the arrival of the captain of the Lord's army. When he arrived, he gave them a strategy. He said, if it is Jericho you are going to bring down, don't try to fight them. They will kill you. Jericho is a strong city. Here is the formula. Go round once. Just once. Every day. And then on the seventh day, let the priests and the singers be in front. And then you go round seven times. As soon as you reach the seventh time, let there be a shout, a healer. It's called the shout of a king. He says, when you shout, that fence will go down. Joshua said, I've got it. I'm sure he called the warriors and they brought their swords. He said, keep it. This is not the time to fight. <clears throat> For many of us, every time we see enemies, you bring out your knife. There are times you bring out the trumpet. There are times you step back and allow the worshippers to be the ones to go in battle. Oh, Jehoshaphat. It is not always war with a knife. There are times you use honor like Esther. That becomes your weapon of war. There are times you fight for the Lord has given you victory. There are times you allow the Red Sea to deal with the Egyptians. Your own is for the sea to open and you go. Have you obtained the strategy for this season you are in? Don't enter seasons assuming a former strategy. No, it can cost you your life. What gave you victory yesterday may lead to utter defeat tomorrow. Man of God, don't as one day God gave you an instruction to ask people to sow into your life or sow into the ministry and you responded and you said, well, I have a church building. Please, so, because it was God that said it. You gave an announcement that did not make sense. And one billion came from it and you built. Don't assume that that is the way God wants you to raise funds for another project. You will make a call and 10,000 will not come. Rather, the insults that will come will be more than 10 billion worth of insults. I'm not, I hope you are getting something now. Please write it down. For every prophetic season in your life, you must obtain the strategy for dominion. For every prophetic season in your life and of your life, you must obtain a strategy for your dominion. Don't make assumptions. We win by the strategies we are given in the spirit. No wonder the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, it says, but that they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination, is the word Yazar, and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. Your promotion is coming and they are fighting you in the office. Don't assume that the strategy is to go and open the door of your boss and shout and yell at him. After all, I'm a king and a priest. You go and open his door and say, Mr. Man, let me tell you, it's not because I'm afraid of you. I went to school before you were born. And you start saying, and the man will just keep quiet. Once you finish, say, okay, I'm sorry for offending you. Leave the job. I said, no, that's not leave the job. You have brought yourself into a greater calamity and greater trouble. What is the strategy for my remaining a, an executive director? I am the only Christian among 10 non-Christians. Lord, what is the strategy for survival? Most believers have not mastered, even for businessmen. What is the strategy for my profiting for this year? Are we together now? Yes. Oh, it is God that gave it power to get wealth. I know that I'll, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't assume. The person talking to you is not stupid, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me, I know what I'm saying ministers don't assume that because you executed something and it worked last year you must go to the spirit and say lord what is the blueprint for the season this is where the danger of blind copying of things we can be inspired and motivated by people but you must be careful it is always at thy word that we move not at thy intention 
Master, we have toiled all night. Nevertheless, at thy word. And they knew what Israel ought to do. Do you know what you need to do in this season to prosper? Man of God, do you know what you need to do, respectfully speaking, for your ministry to thrive? Father, mother, do you know what to do in this season to obtain the school fees of your children? Apostle, I've been getting a job. Listen, look at me, please. Uh, I'm from 2018 to 2020, they usually give me a job, but since pandemic, they did not give me the job. If Brook Cherif is dry, find out from God where else to go. Otherwise, you would die, Elijah. He gave you Brook Cherif for a season. And he commanded a raven to come there. When the water dried up, it was a sign that that season too had come to an end. Don't remain at Brook Cherry there waiting for a raven. The raven may not come every day. You need to know where the address of the widow in Zarephath. And there were many widows in Zarephath. He needs to tell you which one to meet. If you're with me, say amen. amen. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Ah. Father, open my eyes to see the formula that controls my dominion for this season. Not everything translates to your victory. The Bible says, now thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Have you received by the Spirit, by the sacrifice of consecration and the sacrifice of alignment, have you received the strategy for your excelling in business? Have you received the strategy for your excelling in ministry? Have you received the strategy for training your children? Don't assume that because you have children, this is how they are doing it. Who are the they? Their destinies are not the same. So Manoah called and said, it is not enough to know that you are giving us a child. Please reveal to us, how should this child be trained? And a strategy was given. Let his hair not be cut. He shall be a Nazarene unto God. And that became his strategy. Notice, when Satan came to attack Samson through Delilah, all he was looking for was a revelation of the strategy. That strategy is supposed to be a secret between you and God. That is your, that is your advantage. You will tremendous power in ministry. There are things God has told me as a person. It's a unique, it's a unique dealing between me and God. That for as long as those things are kept, your relevance is kept. Samson, know what keeps your strength. If it's your hair protected jealously, it is better for your leg to be injured but that hair remains. If you are Elijah, if you like bab like my hair like this, it doesn't carry anything because the power is not on the hair. That someone is conjuring an enchantment against you and an energy comes upon you. You wake up in the night, you can't explain what is it, but that no divination, no enchantment against you. Abba, sit down and just say, This person is no. Scriptures like arrow just fire out from your spirit. Is someone learning? Hear me. The order of Issachar is the survival pattern for the last days. You need to master the art of spiritual perception. You must be so close to the Holy Ghost that you can, you can perceive the impulses of the spirit. This looks like an open door, but I don't know why there is a restraint in my spirit. Even though it's a great door, please keep it open. Let me go back to God. God, what do you have to say? And you stay there till he speaks. You don't let your tiredness answer you on behalf of God. And you say, I've prayed for three hours. I assume he say yes. No. Are we together? 
this was the secret of the, the valiancy of great men in the bible should i pursue they will go and inquire of god many non-christians and diviners do that till today they will never take any action whether in business in whatever until they have an assurance from heaven let me tell you this some of us that you see that look like we are great i confess to you i'm speaking to the globe it is not because of anything in ourselves we have simply mastered the childishness of staying till his voice comes mm, staying till his voice comes but when that voice comes it comes with tremendous power and energy according to ezekiel 2 and verse 2 and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me so you can find a man look so slow in destiny but in two months god will do something with that person that will cover up for 10 years and you are wondering from whence came this energy the energy came with the voice the energy came with the voice these are missions to uk you see and the us it was already on plan for a few years shared it with the leaders i'm sure they are used to me now once i say we'll do something and you hear me keep quiet about it just leave me and god like that I just kept quiet since God kept quiet but when the word came it came with energy it came with power man of God don't assume because everybody is doing conferences you get up and go and do it don't assume because everybody is opening branches you go and do it I'm saying this respectfully speaking don't assume no father according to your prophetic program for me how many children should i have ah i went to school how can i be asking god how many children you'll be surprised that in god's mind is three you now go and give that to five those two of course god is merciful but you will be surprised the the headache you will get from the remaining two and you are now asking god is this how you want to punish me I'm sorry if I'm touching an area that is a bit touchy, but it is very important. Hallelujah. Three days before Koinonia will start, before the service, I went back to God again to pray, crying my heart before him. And I said, God, I'm human. I can make mistakes. Please, if it is not you and it is not your voice, I pray and I cry unto you that you will speak to me. And I vow on that God, if God had told me he was not the one, I would have come here and apologized before the whole world. I'm not too proud to say sorry. Discernment. Discernment. To know what you ought to do. You need to go back right now and start re-examining your life in light of this thing. And you will find out that some of you have been running anyhow. Anything that comes, once it makes sense, you jump at it. No, spiritual men don't work like that. It is not to make you judgmental. There are times you maximize opportunities. Don't get me wrong. But a spiritual man is one who discerns. Okay? This is a great business. Would you give me one night? Let me just pray. Let me just seek counsel. No, no, it must be now. Tell the person, may God bless you. God who supplies Jehovah Jireh, he will come back again. Don't put yourself in any kind of anything that needs your being too fast that you even have to throw God out is already bringing trouble speed without God is a highway to destruction make sure he's the one who becomes the captain of your speed is someone learning let us become a people of discernment it will help you to know what to be part of it will help you to know what to not be part of. Don't jump at things because of the physical expression and the flamboyancy that they carry. Spiritual people do not work like that. It is not to make you, this teaching is not to make you judgmental. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes. But you must learn to be spiritual. You must learn to be spiritual. You will know what kind of gifts to accept. Someone can come and give you a gift. And you look at it. And something you should be glad about you see ba once you invest in building your spirit respect the impulses that come from that spirit why am I being troubled over something that should give me joy you may not know what it is but just stop
stop where you are and go back to the place of prayer Lord this job that is supposed to give me joy is it just human fear or it is you restraining me how can I get a contract of 20 billion I should be rejoicing but now I'm, I'm tomorrow I'm going to collect the award letter and I cannot sleep in the night if it's an attack let me cast it what is there but let me tell you what many of us will do you will first send the text apostle there's a spirit fighting my breakthrough it cannot be the will of God that I got 20 billion naira stand up and pray with me oh and you see the thing about God ba, because the Holy Spirit is a gentle spirit his assignment is to restrain you according to the level of your yieldedness. The moment you begin to struggle with the Holy Ghost, it is fearful when God leaves you to yourself. <clears throat> if you're with me, please say amen. amen. I don't know why God is speaking this to someone, but this is a very serious prophetic message for someone tonight. What was the second thing they did? the sons of Issachar the Bible says they had the strategy for the season to know what Israel ought to do it's not enough to have discernment please hear me dominion is strategy dependent write it down dominion in the cosmos is strategy dependent we win by strategies please hear me we win by strategies businessmen it's time for you to stop doing conventional things and go and stay with the spirit and say show me my secret to dominion all based on scripture but this has been custom built for my own victory as a man of God you need to obtain grace from God Lord what is the secret that you have placed upon my life how do I dispense the word what is the secret that controls the working of your anointing in my life I was listening to a message by A. A. Allen and he was talking about the fact that he desired the power of God so seriously he went and locked himself and he told his wife honey you will not see me again I'm crying until God shows me the secret to spiritual power as if it's not in the Bible and he went back and locked himself and according to him he said God gave him seven instructions and said for you if you control these seven instructions they become the formula to the revelation of the power of God upon your life but men like William Branham that was not their experience and yet all of them operated in power listen let me tell you when Satan comes to attack you he attacks what the formation of your altar with God that's what he comes to attack what did God say Eve and Adam I don't don't give me your opinion what did God say what is responsible for your enjoying the Eden life There are many of us who are about to give Delilah very cheaply the formula of your hair because there's no discernment. Champions are champions because there is something in their life they protect that becomes the secret. Not secret because it is hidden. Secret because of the power. It controls many things in their lives. There are many people, if you separate yourself from worship, you have separated yourself from the mysteries that control the flow of power in your life. There are people if you separate yourself from prayer, consecration, people have their various formulas, the, the spiritual combination that produce power in their lives. There are people who God will make certain demands on them. Before they ever go out for a crusade, they must fast for at least three days. It is not like that in the Bible, but that is a customized dealing God gave them. And for as long as they keep it, it is a covenant that protects the purity of the anointing. And yet for somebody, he can be strolling on the road and they say, can you come and help us at this crusade ground? And he will come and stand there and that it will look like he's been preparing for it for 10 years. My question for you is, have you received a strategy that controls victory for this season?
to know God, but you know the ways of God. Are we together? When you go and meet a herbalist and tell that herbalist, um, sir, I'm trying to look for money for a political position or something. Do you know? He will consult with the spirit realm and come up with a strategy for you. Is that true? He will not tell you, go and give everybody that strategy. But you say, that's a, based on your request. This is what the realm of the spirit has said is the requirement. Bring a goat or bring a cow and then go to a road where there are so many beggars. Give to, do all of these things. And you honor that strategy and with the foolishness of that strategy, within the limit of divination, it will seem to produce a semblance of tremendous results. But when we come to God, we are not interested in receiving strategies. Joshua, do not go and knock the gate of Jericho and say, open, we want to fight. You may not survive. Jericho is a city that nothing comes in and nothing comes out. And it is not always by your sword. The fence is too thick to use sword. You need to go back and find out. Jehoshaphat, grant them access to revelation and let them know that there are times that God can make enemies fight themselves. What you need is to sing. It may not make sense, but sing. There are times that you can go and lock yourself and God will say, take your employment letter. Don't talk to anybody about your promotion. You just place it on the ground and dance around it. And he said, God, but I went to school. He said, that's the problem. Just do what I ask you to do. You will dance like a madman for one hour. And God will wake your boss like he did Abimelech. And say, why have you not considered promoting this, my servant? Give the person double promotion or create another department. And you see people envying you. And the only thing they can say is, you are doing something that we don't understand. And they are not wrong. May your life be a mystery and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. The tribe of Issachar, they were men who stayed with God to receive strategies. That is why I encourage people to go for end of year retreats and receive strategy for this ministry. There are things that God has said for this year, not just the prophetic word, but the things, the steps to take. The conference we're doing in UK, and it's not just a human being. If I want to go and rest, I don't have to do a conference. I can smuggle myself there, go and lie down and come back. But this is a prophetic conference. Now you will see what that conference will become. And you will know that the hand of God was upon it. That it came by a Rema word. Can I tell you, when ordinary people look supernatural, it's because they are trading on supernatural secrets. We are ordinary, nothing unusual by ourselves, except that the power we have received, the wisdom that comes from heaven, when we put it to work, it produces extraordinary results that defy the intellect. This is the secret. Please lay your hands on your head in one minute. I want you to cry for the next one minute. Lord, what is the strategy for the next level of my prophetic destiny? Reveal it unto me. Someone open your mouth and pray. Someone open your mouth and pray. Bashakete bakatos. Prophet, pray. Apostle, pray. Man of God, pray. What is the strategy? for the next season of my life what is the strategy for raising my children now that they, they have become teenagers what is the strategy to restore my crumbling business what is the strategy to ward off these attacks that are coming from left right and center someone pray someone pray Reveal to me. Reveal to me. The strategy for victory. Hallelujah. The Bible said, They that sat in darkness have seen a great light. Thank God so much that you stay tuned till this time. I believe the word of the Lord has come in so marvelous a light to your path today. 
and in case i know which i know you are truly blessed i'd like you to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to stay in touch with every of our posts every of our updates videos content from god's servant apostle joshua selman i also like you to share this video to loved ones to everyone who you want to see walk in the ways and the fear of the lord and to grow into becoming more like jesus share this video to your friends families loved ones and stay in touch with us god bless you see you in the next video